Well, joining us is Imran Ahmed, who is CEO and founder of the Center for Countering Digital Hate, which is an international non-governmental organization which fights against online hate and misinformation. Uh, good afternoon to you, Imran. Should be said um, that this suspect uh, had been investigated by authorities the previous year for some generalized threats that he was making um, at his school. Um, in terms of how this um, this person may have been radicalised. The authorities are treating this as a racially motivated hate crime. What do we know about the influences on him? Well, it does appear that he has laid out the, the, the route, the, the, the pathway that he went down to being radicalised in a manifesto that he posted online. And you know what? It's depressingly familiar that it was through mainstream social media platforms that he he said he was bored during the pandemic. He started reading this material. It chimed with him for whatever reason. And, and this material is designed to radicalize young, vulnerable people. And he went down the rabbit hole of conspiracism, misinformation and hate that we now know infects social media platforms endemically and that they have done too little to clear up. It was the same pathway, the same radical materials, in fact, the very same content that radicalised the killer who committed the acts in Christchurch, New Zealand, murdering, massacring Muslims there. The same material that radicalised the killer who committed the atrocity against Jewish people at the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh. And yet again, what we've seen is malignant content online deliberately proselytized by hate, by hate actors and with too little action taken by social media companies to clear up that, that hate. What, what, why is, what is the problem in cleaning up uh, social media platforms? Is it inertia? Is it that it is actually technically difficult to do because these platforms are so big? What is it? Well, I mean, just a few weeks ago, we conducted a study at the Centre for Countering and Digital Hate, specifically on the Great Replacement Theory, the, the specific conspiracy theory that this killer cited as his mobilising ideology. We took hundreds of posts of content containing Great Replacement Theory misinformation and hatred. We reported it to platforms using their own reporting tools, and then we checked whether or not they took action. Nine out of 10 times no action was taken. And this is despite the fact that in the wake of the Christchurch massacre of Muslims three years ago, in fact, every single social media company joined the Christchurch call, which said that they would do their utmost to, take, to remove content which breached their terms and conditions and spread conspiracism and hate. We have a serious problem here because the, the economic incentives are misaligned. For social media companies, if they take down content. They reduce the amount of content they can monetize, they can make money from. They also have to take an action, which is, which is actually costly because they have to do something. And at the same time, if they do nothing, there are no consequences for them because, of course, they are not uh, held liable. And that's why it's absolutely crucial that we pass legislation as the UK is doing right now with the Online Safety Bill, as the European Union is doing with the Digital Services Act, um, to impose some of those costs for the harms created on social media platforms, which are currently borne solely by society, by innocents, back onto the social media platforms economically, so we can disincentivize them from being lazy, greedy and venal as they have can today. I, can, can I just jump in here? But this will only work if this happens universally, if it happens all over the world, surely, because otherwise there's always going to be an outlet. If you could keep Look, your answer I'm, brief, please, Imran. Thank you. I agree. And that's why we're bringing together legislators just on Thursday, in fact, in Washington, from the Five Eyes nations and from the EU to start talking about a global framework for action so that we can deal with this globally together and get, and, and, and get some good results. OK, good to talk to you. Thank you so much. That's Imran Ahmed uh, from the Centre for Countering Digital Hate in Washington. Thank you.